Uh, time being 6.01, I'd like to call the Board of Health meeting to order. Um, all members are present except for Lisa Bazanson and Clay Kelly. Would everyone please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, so we have some public announcements. We can turn it over to the health department for some announcements. Um, I have a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna break it up, um, give you some announcements, and then when I do the recap, I'll finish up with the rest. Um, so just to give you an idea of some upcoming programs, uh, this Wednesday, May 11th at 7.15 at the Abington Public Library, we will be hosting a Talk They Hear You program. Um, it's for parents discussing uh, substance abuse and uh, drug awareness with their children. Um, so the meeting is for parents. Um, the material is for them to discuss with their kids. Um, ABCAM is going to record it uh, for anyone that can't make it. We do encourage anyone who's not feeling well to stay home. We will host another event or host a virtual event um, so more people can be involved in the future date as uh, the month of May is uh, Mental Health Awareness and Substance Abuse Awareness Month. So we will continue this going. Uh, masks will be encouraged and available at the door. Also want to remind people that um, thanks to Plymouth County, we still have test kits available for our residents. Um, if anybody's interested, they can stop by our office or give us a call. And just a note, um, the tests, the FDA extended the expiration date to September 27th. So kits that we already have passed out are marked on them that they expire June 27th. That's been extended to September. Um, any kits going forward, we have relabeled with the new expiration date on it. Um, our vaccination clinic will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays through May 26th, 9 to 1130 a.m. There's a link on our Facebook page, uh, on the town website, and we will send out a constant contact tomorrow uh, with a link for anyone that would like to sign up for our first, second shots, uh, first booster or second booster. And um, a reminder that our compost site is open. This week is curbside yard waste uh, to our residents. I'd uh, just like to let them know that the usually there are additional trucks going out doing the yard waste. Our trash drivers are by themselves this week. So your trash and recycling will be picked up at your normal time and they will come back at the end of the day to get their um, yard waste. So you don't need to call the office. Uh, it will be picked up. Uh, if it doesn't get picked up, please give us a call. And a reminder to people using our compost site. Um, our compost site is for leaving compost, uh, not taking things. Um, unless you're taking compost. Uh, we've had some people helping themselves to scrap metal um, and various things. The town gets money for the scrap metal dropped off, uh, which helps offset the cost of recycling electronics and mattresses. So, um, the rest of the information, I'll get you guys on the recap. So, that's my update. Okay. Chris, thank you. All right, so the next item on our agenda is board reorganization. So, Chris, that's going to turn the meeting over to you. All right, um, so just for public knowledge, we are missing two members today, but we are required by law to reorganize the board by May 15th, which is why we're going to do a reorg tonight with three members present, because we have a quorum. Uh, so at this time, I will accept a nomination for chair. I'll nominate Aaron. Yeah. A second. I have a nomination and a second. Um, any other nominations? Hearing none, uh, all in favor of Aaron for, I almost said president, chair <laughs> of the Board of Health, uh, say aye. Do we aye. need a roll call on this? Aye. No, you know. Aye. Aye. Any opposing? No. So that's 3 0 oh, uh, Passes. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you. Wow. No moving around. That's great. Exactly. Um, um, indeed. Do we want to take a nomination for vice chair? Yep. Yeah, uh, so I'll open up the floor for nominations for vice chair. I'll nominate Kevin. Okay, I have a nomination for Kevin. Do I have any other nominations? All right. I'll second. second. You don't have to second it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, hearing no other nominations, um, all in favor of Kevin as vice chair, say aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Kevin, congratulations. Thank you. We don't have to move. All right. Uh, Chris, you get a lot of talking tonight. 
I do. Um, next, we're going to have a health department recap, uh, just kind of to give our well, one new board member present, uh, just kind of where we're at, things that have been going on, so that way we can uh, all be somewhat up to speed. Okay, um, so I want to go over some, unfortunately, COVID stuff. I know we sound like a broken record, but this is just one of those things that does not go away. Um, our numbers are unfortunately steadily climbing. Um, so I just wanted to update some people on the current um, procedures. Isolation and quarantine, uh, the updated guidance from February is what we're still working off of. Um, for a positive case, that's five days isolation. And if and only if your symptoms have resolved, you can exit isolation, uh, but with the caveat of wearing a well-fitting mask for days six through 10, because you can still spread, um, you're still contagious through day 10. Um, isolation is if you're positive, quarantine is if you've been exposed to a positive case. As far as exposure, there's different rules. Um, if you've been vaccinated versus up-to-date vaccination, unvaccinated versus symptomatic, there's a lot of nuances to the quarantine, so if anyone has any questions, um, please call the office. We're more than happy to um, go over that with you. Um, we continue to distribute the guidance that we made into a flow chart. If anyone's looking for it, um, there's a copy up on the website and on social media. We can email it, and we have physical copies in the office, which we're more than happy to give up. Uh, a reminder to everyone, if you're staying, uh, stay home if you're ill. Um, Staying home, masking, vaccination, and boosters remain our best tools to combat COVID-19. Um, again, think of it as a Swiss cheese model. No one um, measure is going to stop the spread, but working together, it helps mitigate the spread. Um, as far as numbers, our office doesn't like to look at single numbers. Uh, they don't tell the whole picture. Um, right now, one of the problems we have is with home testing. Uh, that's not being reported to Maven. so. Um, the numbers that we have are only based off of um, what we get through Maven. Um, total cases since March of 2020 for Abington is 4,775. Um, cases that have been reported to the state from a proctored setting, we currently, as of today, have 55 with an average age of 44. Our test positivity rate um, from last Wednesday is 6.35%. Uh, I know the, the health, Board of Health had had a threshold of 5% um, to talk about advisories or recommendations, so that's where we're at currently. We'll have that information updated on Wednesday. Um, with the cluster that we recently had, I suspect it'll probably be higher, but mm. we'll wait and see what happens on Wednesday. Um, health Department just advises that all residents keep in mind that COVID-19 is a continued problem in our community, and please use your best judgment when planning activities for your family. Um, as always, we have an open door and are happy to take any calls or visits if anyone has any questions. Um, that's what we're here for. The health department is a resource for the town with very knowledgeable individuals working there and we love to help. And as a reminder, public health is a population level health, so stay safe. Um, the other thing that I brought for you guys tonight, so we had ironically enough just taken down the expired um, advisory um, that the board had placed before when we went over 5%. Um, so our department has given you a suggested new advisory uh, for your consideration. Um, of course, issuing advisory is at the um, will and pleasure of the board, so mm -hmm. that's just a suggestion. Um, but I think, did, Kevin, did you get a copy of that? Um, I did. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you. And that is all I have for uh, recaps. So are you requesting that we consider? Consider that, yeah. Okay, today? You'd like that today? Probably the sooner the better. We're, we're at a point where at least, been, I mean, and this advisory, again, is pretty much the same as the one that was up before. Um, just saying because of looking at our higher numbers that the recommendation is to, um, even for vaccinated people, wear masks indoors. Um, you know, no, no mandate, uh, nothing of that, or just an advisory. Yeah, I, I do think, too, with... Um, discussion but, oh uh, yeah open for discussion no I, I do think that you know obviously like Mother's Day was yesterday people traveling um, you know in very different settings and the weather not being great people probably indoors rather than outdoors I mean the weather hasn't been helpful this spring yeah. it's been pretty you know lousy so um, you know obviously I think you know you're gonna see the numbers rise even even more you know 
as we go forward. For, um, for those at home and those in the audience, I'm just going to read the new suggested ones. Mm -hmm. That way everyone knows what we're talking about here. So the suggested new advisory is the Town of Abington Board of Health is advising all residents and visitors to use face masks indoors and at public locations. As a result of increasing cases and test positivity, the Town of Abington's Board of Health and Health Department are advising all residents and visitors, regardless of vaccination status, to use masks while indoors and at public locations when physical distance is not possible. Prolonged exposure indoors with large numbers of people can be the cause of vaccinated individuals becoming infected. As a result, we recommend even vaccinated people wear a mask indoors. The increased virulence and its high ability to infect those even, uh, you know, sorry, even those vaccinated in some cases means that masking and distancing are strongly recommended at this time. Please keep your safety and the safety of those around you in mind. So that's what we're considering. Um, Kevin, I would agree with you. I think that uh, especially with the weather and the Mother's Day holiday, this is probably, and the recent cluster is definitely probably, at least for the, the short time being, um, important to advise. It's an advisory, so we're not requiring anything. It's just, you know, I think we're doing our job as the Board of Public Health to mm -hmm. advise um, public health measures. Right. Um, with that in mind, I mean, I don't know, Katie, do you have anything to say? About I would be in favor as well. I think swiftly taking action to decrease our numbers you know, rather than, or doing everything in our power to get the numbers back down again, rather than to continue the trend upwards would be smart. So with that, I'll make the motion to um, post the, the advisory to all residents regarding the up increase in uh, COVID in the mask uh, recommended indoors. Okay. I have a motion from Kevin to uh, approve the suggested advisory as listed uh, at the bottom of this page. I'll second. And I have a second from Katie. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. So we can post that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Chris, is that the end of everything you had? Yep. For okay. Uh, the next thing we have in here is just training opportunities. Um, that email you sent out outlined a lot of that for board members. It was kind of this agenda item was pointed towards having everybody here, and obviously we're, we're lacking that. But um, obviously we have to take conflict of interest law training that uh, needs to make sure that all of us do that every year. Um, local Public Health Institute on your own time trainings are available um, the, through at Boston University, UMass Boston. Katie and I were trying to figure that out a second ago. Um, Massachusetts uh, Health Board Association. Association of Health yeah, Boards. Yeah, the Association of Health Boards. I always get the acronym wrong. They're running their, uh, what's it's called, their training on May 21st for any public health people like us. So um, that's available. I think it's $90 to attend. So there's a lot of things that uh, are available for us as board members to, to train ourselves and prepare ourselves to serve on the board. Obviously, I recommend it. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're dealing with a lot of things that uh, may be outside of our normal uh, knowledge and could certainly use the use the help. Is there anything I miss, Chris, that you want to mention? Um, no, just as I mentioned earlier, um, so we're very fortunate that Abington is the host community for a public health excellence grant um, between five communities. Um, part of that grant is money towards education for staff um, and boards of health are included in that. So, um, for example, the um, certification class that um, the Massachusetts Association of Health Boards we'll is doing. Uh, yeah, there's Moab and Mahab, so there's there's multiple acronyms. Um, so that can be paid through the grant. So if there's if there's particular training like that particular training, I thought would be helpful for the board because it's specifically on the law and boards of health. Um, but any other trainings, uh, if there's something that you see that has a cost associated with this, uh, let us know. And as long as it's approved by the um, the grant guidelines. Um, we can get you done in there. That's lovely. Great. All right, uh, last thing we have on the agenda is to approve the minutes from April 25th, 2022. Now, Kevin and I were the only two people there. So, so yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of April 25th as printed. I'll second. Second with Kevin. Do we have any discussion about this? No. All right. I'll All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstaining. Okay, so those passed. All right, that is our agenda for the evening. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Oh, did the cyclone have anything they want to do? Uh, no, just trying to be more involved. It's, okay. Just say hi. Well, okay. This is like the fullest house we've had in a while. Thank you. I know. Thank you for coming to us. I'm boosting your numbers. <laughs> not the COVID numbers. Good Let's keep those low. Let's keep those low. All right.
Uh, so with that, do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. To adjourn from Kevin. Second. Second from Katie. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. We are adjourned at 617.